we're here today in, in Krebs, Oklahoma, opening 20 more leap homes. And uh, I'm just so excited. I love coming and seeing our families. We, this is our working families that sometimes is forgotten, but they come here, they're, they're so excited. Their kids are so excited. And more importantly for me, I love seeing the generational change. It's not only changing the homeowner's lives, but it's also changing the lives of the children, which I think is just exciting because we're breaking that generational cycle. Our mission is to provide opportunities for growth and prosperities for our tribal members. And so without home ownership, you know, you can be employed, you can do all those things, but home ownership is critical to being empowered, to, to being independent and making your own choices. And this is just a great step to help them succeed in life. Um, well, I'm originally from Wardville, and then I married my husband, Taylor, and he lives in Crowder. So we've been living in Crowder for about a year and a half. And then we found out about these and applied and then we got it. So we're just excited to be part of it. For people like us, I think it gave us an opportunity that we wouldn't have without it. Um, it's a lot harder than people think to get out on your feet. Probably the privacy and just the experience of being able to move into a new home and give our kids a nice home to move into. Yes, we did have a house when she was on the way um, and we decorated the nursery but his dad passed away so we moved out and moved in with his mom before she three weeks before she came so getting to actually do a nursery and bring the baby to it's going to be really exciting. There's a big need for, for uh, good quality homes in McAllister Krebs District 11 area and uh, we're happy to provide them for the working families. I call our working families and young working families our vital citizens I believe we need to help them and support them because they have to support their children um, and they have to bring revenue into the tribe, into Southeast Oklahoma, into District 11, and that's why we definitely need to uh, support them. We are moving in today. We are very, yeah, very, very, very excited. excited. <laughs> Well, we come from Haleyville, Oklahoma, and uh, we applied for the LEAP housing in, what was it, April? We just, it was a surreal moment for us. We both looked at each other and we couldn't believe it. Um, I mean, just <laughs> look at the house. It's, it's perfect it's in beautiful. every way. Well, just like everybody's, you know, they're saying, it's, uh, it's faith, culture, and family. And without having that as part of it, you know, not learning and keeping our culture going and everything like that. It, this is something that brings people together. Um, all my neighbors, they're all Choctaws too. So we have that, that we can all have that common ground. It's an opportunity that we probably wouldn't have been able to have without the LEAP program. Um, it would have taken us a lot longer to get here. So it's, it's really exciting. One of the uh, families that we got to meet with was a single mom uh, with a young man. I believe he's around 14. And so she came from a domestic violence uh, background. And through our services, through the Choctaw Nation services, she was able to maneuver through the appropriate services she needed, as well as getting to the, her, a brand new home today. To see the excitement on her and her son's face, they have the home that's closest to the pond. Uh, he is super excited. All he could talk about is moving in and getting his own room as well as to, to be able to fish in the pond. So they're super excited uh, and they feel like that they're a true success story.